Oh, I'm just house sitting, looking at the mountains. I wanted to show you guys, this is a, one of those flags. I know not everybody lives in the U.S., but um, I think I gave this to them, not this last Christmas, but the one before that. And they uh, were building this outdoor kitchen, so that's where they ended up putting it. I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of dirty, but I mean, it's aluminum, so it won't ever rust or anything. I was just thinking, uh, it's crazy how naked we feel when we don't taste it out, when we don't have our cell phones with us. I have this phone that I'm recording on right now, but it's that backup phone I bought because I expected my regular phone that I was recording YouTube stuff with to take a crap, and it still hasn't, but I've been recording with this phone. Anyway, I, uh, I brought them both over to the house I was house sitting at because I had to upload all the video last night and edit and stuff and I just grabbed the wrong one before I left the house and uh, I just realized it and I'm like damn you just feel so naked without a way to like connect with somebody if something happens but I, mean, I didn't have my first cell phone until I was like almost 20 years old I was out of high school and all those times driving home as a teenager getting home at 2 o'clock in the morning what if I would have broke down? Like, you know, it wasn't even really a concern. We didn't used to even really think about it. I guess just walk to somebody's house and see if you can use a phone, do whatever. But yeah, now it's like you forget your phone at home and go for a 10 minute drive and it's like, oh crap, I don't have my phone. What if something happens? I mean, it's just crazy how far we've come with technology and it might be in maybe the wrong direction, but I don't know be interesting to see where we are in another 20 years, huh? It's 1.39 p.m. Good view of the mountains from here, though. Well, I might actually make this light. Don't do that. Now it's only saying 99, but my phone is saying 100. I think today's the first day to hit 100. Oh good, gas prices are still up. Ugh, I've been messing with this for a while. This whole thing was basically like a big bubble with a few gaps in between, but yeah, like from here all the way over, Got the heat gun out, kind of pushing it down. You can see I kind of creased it there a little bit, but look at this. Bubbles are already trying to come back, and I don't understand why. So I wanted to throw the fender on and put this uh, diamond plate piece back on, but I, I do want to drive it over to that house. I got to let the dog out one more time. And I want to burn as much fuel as I can because I got to run it through emissions again soon. Um, so I'll probably just drive it the way it is, and uh, when I get home, I might I might just redo that bottom piece and try to do a different technique. You know, try to try to come up and then in and then up again or down and then out and down. I. I must have just put it on like across it with that being an air gap and then thought that I could heat it and push it in but apparently that doesn't work like that. Just don't understand it. When I uh, painted and primered and did all that stuff I wasn't concerned with this bottom part just everything above this line and it actually looks okay that part's fine. Um, another part that's doing it is right here. I just pushed that down, it was over to like right here, heated it up, pushed it down, and I don't know, you can push it down, it comes right back up though. Don't know what I'm doing wrong, but that's going to drive me nuts if that keeps doing that, and I don't even want to put that piece on if there's a chance I'm going to redo it. It's only like a 9 inch strip, so that's why I'm saying I might redo it tonight. <laughs> So 
So it's 94, and I think that's about as warm as the temp gauge has ever read on this thing. It's actually above that bottom line. Pretty cool. I guess it does work. All right, so after making that drive, you can see how much air got back up under this. Watch if I take my finger. Yeah. I don't want to keep dealing with that. I think I'm going to rip it off. Look at all the way down the down the way there. I think I really want to just rip it off and redo that little section before I move on to anything else. I don't think it'll take me very long, so that's what I'm going to do. I think I got it clean. I really want to pull the door off so bad, but the problem with that is I already touch up painted it after I put the bolts on. And I don't really want to have to do that again. Hmm, I can't decide if I should just pop it off and then fight with it to get it back on and risk damaging. I think I'm going to do it with it on just so I don't hurt the vinyl. Alrighty, well, let me get set up and I'm going to get started. My roommates went to the fair and they're going to be <laughs> probably pulling up right while I'm doing this. But we'll see. Alrighty. I think we got her. I don't know if you guys could tell on the time lapse, but I did all this cold. I went up and then in and then up. So there was no bridging a gap right here and then heating it up and all that crap. So I know it looks good now. I'm, hopefully it'll stay like that. Like even on the door in some spots, it's, it was doing that. It's such a bummer. But anyways, that didn't take too, too long. I'm still not real fast at it, but that was kind of an easier piece. But it's coming real slow. I was house-sitting the last couple days, so today's Monday. So not off to a very good start this week, but um, I guess you guys could probably guess which panel's next, right? No, you can't? Seriously? All right, I'll help you. Probably this one right here. I know, you guys knew it. Just kidding. I hope this isn't a terrible idea. Kind of feels like a terrible idea. Uh, but you never know until I ruin whatever I'm working on. If you guys can't see, just yell right now. Okay, I didn't hear anyone, so you must all be able to see. Which side is smoother? Hoping alcohol picks the Sharpie off, too. What kind of bug that was that just bit me? Mm, bastard bug. That's the section I think I want to cut out. I don't know why I didn't pull the hood off first. Don't scratch it. I should have pulled the hood off and then 
I'm gonna have to repaint that now. What am I doing? I don't really have anywhere to put it though, that's the problem. So I may cut it on here. No turning back now, is it? Oh, nope. You guys really shouldn't have talked me into this. right at a peak. Screwed up, last one. Whatever you do, slow and steady. Fun to try to sand. Hopefully, I don't have to sand much of this. Curious what how much gas is where you guys live. Um, for a while, it was way more expensive here in Tucson than a lot of other places. And I'm just wondering if that's happening again or if it's gone up like everywhere. Look at all the eco-friendly electric vehicles being charged. You know, probably on coal. Wow, what a pain in the ass. 13.03 with tax. I thought I remembered these being about six dollars. It wouldn't be a Fix Life episode if I wasn't bitching about prices, right? So last night I came out and taped this off and sprayed the hinges with the bed liner. It's weird because I actually thought that the uh, hinges were bolted on they're actually just like attached to this piece, which looks like it might be like welded on or, or riveted or something. Anyway, there's only two bolts. I thought there was gonna be two and then two more. Anyways, I guess I'll pull that stuff off. This, after I got done wrapping it, still wasn't flat after all this, so I'm gonna probably put some more Bondo on it, try to get it as flat as I can, and then I'll show you with the 3M stuff how I'm going to patch this little section in. It's a hot one today. Just was running around and oh, that's what I was going to tell you guys. My, my roommate went to the county fair yesterday. I was going to go, but I ended up there. Uh, the flight got delayed where I was house sitting, so I had to end up going back over there, but I'm glad I didn't go. Um, Jenny and her sister got like a steak kebab, I guess, and it was $26. And then Bo got a corn dog, fries, and a drink, and it was $38. I, I 
couldn't believe it. I don't know what they charge at the Super Bowl, but I can't imagine it's any more than that. Okay, I need to leave these on. I was talking, I almost pulled off the wrong tape. I want that tape off so I don't accidentally sand into the existing uh, vinyl. Well, <clears throat> I've been trying to figure out the low spot because without vinyl on it, you can't really tell <laughs> what needs to happen here. So I was taking the square, and this is a window film uh, deal, but I can't really tell. I mean, I've gone every direction. And it's, it's like impossible to really tell where the high spots and low spots are. So, unfortunately, I'm going to put some on. And then I'll take that sanding block and go to town on it. I wasn't able to do that last time. I like ran out of sandpaper, so I'm hoping that gets it flat. So we shall see. Just put another coat on that, I'm trying to thicken it up a little bit. Um, I'm trying to stay away from the tape line too because I won't be able to sand right there and that's right where it butts up to the other vinyl. So, And then I've been starting to sand on this guy and all this looks like Beirut. Somebody put a million screws through there so I might fill some of those in. But And then there's a small dent down here and you know it can't ever be just something easy. All right, and it's hot. I'm sweating my uh, arse off in here. I think it's been long enough. I've been over there screwing with that. And I don't even know why I did it, to tell you the truth. Because I'm putting that black thing over it and all those screws are gonna go right back into it. So I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this real quick. Than it was. Oh. It is hard to tell, but I honestly think that worked. Hard to tell unless it's like glossy. That does actually look good. Did something go right? No, it's good enough. 
I, I think something might have gone right. Now I'm kind of scared. Hmm. Wow. Well, I guess I'll keep going on it. So when I cut this out, I went, I don't know, about 3 16 of an inch to the inside of where the, the body line is. So now I'm going to try to go right along the body line with this uh, knifeless tape. Okay. I'm about to waste this practice. Alright, I'm going to try to do it in one shot. Okay, well I found this roll. Hopefully it's wide enough. When I put tape on these things, I always make like a little flap and I put it on the side that's not going to peel it, peel the vinyl up. You know what I mean? Like I'm peeling away from it. Whereas if I were to go this way, see how it wants to rip it up? Anyway, just a, seems to help me. Somebody cooking some delicious smelling barbecue really close. soaked in alcohol so I wonder if I should give you guys a, a view from somewhere else. Okay. I'm not anticipating this taking too long so I'm not gonna do a time lapse. I usually do both but it's so hot in here these Phones get to where they say that they're not working. Okay. Uh, you're not supposed to put it on the part you're going to use. Okay. Wish me luck. Do I need to clean my hands again? I'm going to.
Why don't I own a table? Is that what you just said? I heard you. Um, I had one. It disappeared. Where to? I don't know. Oh, I can feel the static. That's not good for dust. So. Dusty's in there. Just gonna start from the middle and we'll spray it. Try to do the hinge. This is the part that screwed me last time. You have to cut it. in it, but I'm not good enough to do that, so <laughs> okay, I might be all right.
Okay. Can we dare try to pull on the strand? Part that it leaves behind just comes off in two pieces like that. And that supposedly we just oh push it back down. I think that got some soap under it or something. Should be okay. dry for a minute before I tack down the back side but I'll show you guys what we're working with this phone is pretty hot so there is a line that's just soap um, there is a line obviously because you're overlapping it but it literally goes come on focus it goes along the, the body line and it's a pretty straight Pretty straight cut. I don't know. Probably hard to tell on camera. Anyways, this should be better because I can get this under there a little better this time. I'll heat it up and fold it under. I tried to cut it a little narrower than how wide the hinge is, so hopefully that helped. Wow, I can't believe it. I don't see really any other than that little piece right there, which compared to everything else ain't bad. I'm just kind of pushing that down, and then I will fold it under. I'm gonna get the heat gun. I got it right there. Get it going, so. Cool. Whoa, don't look too close. That's as close as you should get to it, because you might cut yourself. I uh, got the hood back on. Remember how nasty that part was right there? Come on. Don't make me put my ugly ass hand in there. I don't know if you guys remember it. It was really bad. But anyway, I guess that worked. The only downside is this little bit you can see right there, but I don't know. Like I said, there's a body line there anyway, so I think that's how the professionals do it. They either do that or maybe they lay down, pre pretend this is where my tape line went. You lay your tape down you do this panel and you overlap it a little bit and then when you do this panel and overlap it a little bit now you've overlapped both of them and then when you peel that string through and pull the excess out I wonder how big of a gap there would be in between those or if they would just maybe they just mesh right up because as you're pulling it maybe it stretches it a tiny bit and doing that on both sides maybe it just makes a perfect uh, like union I don't know I'll have to I should I should do that. 
I'm going to take a little piece and do that right now. And I'll show you guys how to start it too. I wonder if you can just yank on it. I can't lay down a two inch piece without screwing it up. Wow. Whatever. Ignore the bad parts. Okay, so you're supposed to kind of fold this on itself and then when you pull on it I don't know. anyway the string comes out one way or another but probably not that way because it's coming out from underneath why 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 Ugh. supposed to release and then you kind of hold it down as you start it okay see what we got here you gotta peel our excess piece oh shoot and I guess you have to pull it back to get your other that's the only downside yeah they probably don't do that for that reason. Because it's going to stretch the piss out of it when I go to do this. And you'd probably get it all dirty. Maybe not. Let's see. Damn! That's actually better than I thought, but I don't think I could do that with a big piece very well. you guys think of that? I might have to try that again sometime and you know, put a little more effort into it and see if it's doable. But, pretty cool, you can't really... can't really see the line. You can't see the line, can you, Rusty? Who knows what movie that's from. Christmas movie ever made. Okay. Hey guys, I'm just uh, out and about, but I was at home editing a little bit ago, and it looks like there's so much footage that I'm probably going to break this one into two videos. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that you guys can see a little more of the wrapping process because I feel like lately I'm just like time lapsing through everything so um, on that rear quarter panel I did both a time lapse and a, a real time so I'd like to put a lot more of the real time in the probably in the second video so I'm making this in case it turns into a second one then I can add this at the end of the first one so anyways um, that's probably what's gonna happen so they should be like back-to-back -back videos maybe a day apart but Depends how quick I can edit. So, anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys watching as always, and uh, we'll see you very, very soon. Take care.